Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a couple years ago, we did a top five Georgia State Parks campground list. And we've stayed at so many more state parks in Georgia now since then that we only felt natural to come up with a new list of our top 10 favorite state parks in Georgia. So stay tuned this week. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna count down from number 10 to number one with an honorable mention if you stay at the end. That's right. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end. Coming at number 10 for our 10 top favorite state parks in Georgia is Reed Bingham State Park. Now that is in Adele, Georgia. Now we've only stayed there twice. And the two times that we were there, we actually had full hookups. Now, I'm not sure if all the sites have full hookups, but we had them and all the sites seem to be big rig friendly. So now this last time that we were there, that was just recently at spring break and we had a lot of time to be able to walk the trails and the boardwalk was so beautiful meandering through the trees. And we also did a bike ride and pretty neat bike ride taken across the dam there. And there's a really neat restaurant right outside the campground there called the Catfish House Restaurant. And they have really good food. So if you stay there, make sure you check out the restaurant. So number nine on our list of top favorite state parks in Georgia is Don Carter State Park. Now this is in Gainesville, Georgia. I almost said Gainesville, Florida, but no, it's Gainesville, Georgia, which is a little north of Atlanta. It's on Lake Lanier. Now the campground, we really liked this campground a lot. We really had a nice site here. The only thing is it was a little confusing, uh, the roads that wind through the campground. So you have to make sure you're paying attention to the arrows on the road, that's for sure, or you might end up going the wrong way. Now, they did have some good hiking trails here that we explored. They did have a boat ramp and a playground. It is on Lake Lanier after all, so it's a great lake for boating on. We didn't get a chance to get out and do anything on the lake as it was still pretty cold at that point of the time of the year we were there. And we really didn't do a whole lot around there. We pretty much just stayed at the park, but we really did enjoy Don Carter State Park. Coming in at number eight for our top 10 favorite state parks in Georgia is Kolomoki Mounds in Blakely, Georgia. So the campground here at Kolomoki Mounds only has 25 RV sites, but of those sites, it seems that most sites would accommodate big rigs. Now we've also stayed at this state park twice. And if you love Native American history, this is the park for you. They have some really cool mounds that you can check out and some grave sites there on site for the people that actually owned the campground at one point. When you go to the main office there, that is actually one of the mounds and it'll take you through um, a little tour inside where you can watch a video about the Kolomoki Mounds. Also, it's a very nice museum. And the last time we were there, we actually took the paddle boards out and we Little, little paddle boarding right there in the water. It was a really beautiful experience. All the lily pads and the flowers were so gorgeous. Okay, next on our top 10 list of Georgia State Park is number seven, and it is Skidaway Island State Park. This is in Savannah, Georgia. And you obviously probably, have, if you've watched our channel at all, you know we love Savannah, Georgia. We love those old historic towns. So having a state park right there in Savannah was perfect for us. We only stayed a couple nights here. We were spending New Year's here, so we didn't really get a chance to do much at the state park itself. But we do love going downtown Savannah and, and enjoying the cuisine down there, the southern food. And of course, we love all the history that Savannah has to offer. So one other thing we really enjoy doing when we're staying in Savannah, Georgia, is going to the Bonaventure Cemetery. Now, Bonaventure Cemetery has some pretty cool history here. There was actually scenes from the movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil that were filmed here. They actually put up some fake tombstones to film scenes there. It's also the resting place of Johnny Mercer, the man who wrote a lot of hit songs like Jeepers Creepers. That is definitely worth checking out if you're going to be staying at Skidaway Island State Park here in Savannah, Georgia. It's also close to Wormslow Historic Site which we have explored a couple times. It's a really cool place. If you're gonna be in the area, you really need to check that out.
Coming in at number six for our top 10 favorite state parks in Georgia is Unicoi State Park, and it's right near Helen, Georgia. And if you've watched our channel long enough, you know we love our Helen, Georgia. So here at Unicoi, there are so many different ways to camp there from RV spots to tent camping to cabins to even we saw this really cool, um, it looked like a, what would you call it? Almost like a beer keg. It was really, really neat. They really do cater to campers there. I feel like it is the, one of the epitome of when you think of camping, it is the perfect state park. They have great hiking there. They have zip lining there. They even spot a lot of bear there. We actually had to sign a bear waiver when we were there because the bears were coming out from hibernation. But the best part is we are only a couple miles from downtown Helen. If you're wanting to visit Helen, Georgia and this cool little German town, then Unicoi State Park is the perfect option. So number five on our top 10 favorite state parks in Georgia is High Falls State Park. This is in Jackson, Georgia. We've stayed here a couple times, but it has two separate campgrounds. And we've always stayed on the riverside, which is, accommodates more of the bigger rigs. Beautiful campground. And like I said, most of those sites on that side are big rig friendly. Some of the things we love doing when we're at High Falls State Park is going just a few miles down the road to Juliet, Georgia and checking out the old Whistle Stop Cafe where Fried Green Tomatoes was filmed. So that's a real cool treat if you're staying at High Falls. Definitely want to check out that cute little town. Something we also like doing when we're at High Falls State Park in Georgia is checking out the old powerhouse ruins. We just love seeing old ruins like this and, and, and knowing that at one time in history, these things were operational and people were employed here and, and now it's being overgrown by nature, but it's, it's just a, such a beautiful sight. And the best thing about High Falls is obviously the falls themselves. We love hiking along the river and, and here in the rapids and here in the falls and, and just enjoying nature out there. So if you're going to be in the Jackson area, you really need to check out High Falls. It's an awesome state park. Okay, so coming in at number four for our top 10 favorite state parks in Georgia is Cloudland Canyon in Rising Fawn, Georgia. It is an absolutely beautiful campground. And we've only stayed there once, but we definitely want to go back. The campground here at Cloudland Canyon has 75 sites and two separate loops. They also have cottages and yurts. The RV sites are all big rig friendly, except for maybe one or two. Most are at least 40 feet. They have quite a few pull through sites here. It is a very beautiful campground. The hiking here at this campground is gorgeous. There are a lot of stairs though. There were a, two different um, staircases leading down to waterfalls and one of them I did the second day Chuck was able to do the second one I just couldn't do it but if you love waterfalls and hiking this is a great campground for you so another little side excursion that we did when we were there was visit the famous rock city and if you've never been there you gotta check it out it's a really cool place you gotta see rock city Now, number three on our top 10 Georgia State Parks is Stone Mountain, and we have stayed here many a times. This is a huge, and I mean huge campground. It has many, many loops, and they're basically all color coded. So we've pretty much stayed in the same loops every time we've been there. They do have a side that is more like primitive camping, and they have a side that is more like 
you know, wooded camping, and then they have a, kind of a part of the campground that is kind of like a resort. We've always opted to stay in a site that is more like our typical state park and wooded. We'll say that some of the roads in here, have, every time we've been here, kind of feel like they need to be repaired a little bit. But other than that, we absolutely love the views you get here of Stone Mountain itself and the things that you can do while you're here at Stone Mountain State Park, like riding the gondola. Now, we've done that a couple times. We've hiked to the top of Stone Mountain a couple times, and we've even paddleboarded in the lake around Stone Mountain. Some interesting history here too about where the granite was quarried from here and how it's made its way all around the world. There's also a cool old covered bridge worth checking out if you're gonna be in Stone Mountain State Park. So if you're gonna be in the Atlanta-ish area, Stone Mountain State Park, definitely check that one out. Coming in at number two for our top 10 favorite state parks in Georgia is Vogel State Park, and that is in Blairsville, Georgia. It is an absolutely spectacular campground. The first time we were there, there were some spots that were under construction, but the last time we were there, they were all done, and now it looks absolutely gorgeous. And if you can get a creek spot where you're right there next to the water, you are in luck because it is absolutely beautiful, and hearing the water run through is so peaceful. It is an absolutely spectacular campground. We have been there twice now, and both times we were there in the fall. And the leaves are absolutely gorgeous there in the fall. They have some waterfalls right there on the site. Now they are man-made, but still, it is gorgeous. A little lake there that you can walk around, and there's a perfect spot to see the sunset. We always love to go see the sunset there. Just a little bit of a warning that it is a dry county. So if you need to get an adult beverage, then you can go to Murphy, North Carolina, which is right across the state line there. Ask us how we know. Coming in at number one. And this is definitely a new number one for us. This is Tallulah Gorge State Park in Tallulah Falls, Georgia. Now, we've been told about this park several times that you got to get there you got to go there and we went there one time before just on a day trip mm -hmm. but this time we stayed in the campground the campground i'm going to say is nothing too special in our opinion mm -hmm. but the payoff is that you're a five minute not even maybe five minute walk to the falls and to the trails around the rim and there is a north and a south rim but the falls themselves breathtaking and we also recommend that you check out the South Rim. I think a lot of people do the North Rim when they just come into the park, but if you take the time and you get on that South Rim, it, I think it's a better hike, right. in my opinion, with better views. But the most spectacular thing about this campground is they have the swinging bridge. Oh yeah. And you have all these stairs that you walk down. How many stairs are they? It's yeah. like 600 steps to the bridge and back. We actually went all the way to the bottom so it was like 1100 or just shy of 1100. So it was awesome. And then there's also another suspension bridge across the main road from the state park. It's still part of the state park. Yeah, it's not as spectacular, but it is a neat bridge. And also when you get to the other side, there's a nice little um, hiking trail. Paved. Yeah. Yeah, all paved. Easy, easy hike. Yep. Right along Very the river. Peaceful. And there's also some cool history on these trails too, from Carl Walenda's tightrope walk that he did back there in the 1970s. So you will see remnants of the towers that they used to string up the wire across the gorge. Also at Tallulah Gorge, they have a really cool interpretive center with a lot of basically kind of museum artifacts and a lot of interesting history on the area and information about the wild animals of the area. We actually like checking out this really neat coffee shop right outside the state park there and it was an old train depot very cool very cool so if you like coffee you're staying at Tulula gorge highly recommend i think it's called 1882 coffee i believe and you can leave a little love note and you can get a little love note yep we still have ours hanging up yep
And for those of you that have stuck around to the end, we have a bonus state park that we want to share with you. It is Fort McAllister State Park in Richmond Hill, Georgia. We stayed there on our way to Gettysburg. So the campground here at Fort McAllister State Park was okay. I mean, we came in kind of late and it was after dark. We did get a little confused as to which road we were supposed to turn up into the campground to get to our site. They did have a very cool museum here at Fort McAllister State Park, I have to say, and in the whole outside museum going through all the old fort was very cool. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this top 10 of our favorite Georgia State Parks. And we really appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end and watching with us. But really appreciate all the support you guys have given us over these years. Make sure that you're still subscribed because we've been noticing that some of our subscribers have contacted us saying that they never unsubscribed and yet yeah. they're unsubscribed. So, yeah. so if you subscribed in the past, just give a double check, make sure you're still subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, we would love for you guys to subscribe and join our adventures. And we will see you out there on the road. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>